guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my long awaited kitchen mini makeover slash clear out slash tidy and clean. Firstly, I will just say if you haven't already, I have filmed a kitchen like kitchenware haul slash Mrs. Hinch style cleaning product haul. So if you're yet to see that, I will leave a little card. I recommend you do watch that first so that as I go through the kitchen tour today with you, you will have an idea as to what the majority of the things where they're from. If you haven't already, please do stick around and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you like this kind of video and you maybe want more of these throughout the rest of the house, then do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. I will also leave a link to my other social media channels down below. I have both an fashion Instagram, which is Freya Farrington One, and I also now have a home account, which is Freya Farrington Home. So I'll leave both of those linked below. Now, without further ado, Pause this video, go grab a coffee, and let's get ready for the kitchen tour. pause the music and just interject with a little like thrifty idea if you like me are a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to books being on display you don't like a mismatch of colors then a good way of doing it like because I don't want to get rid of this Jamie's Italian uh, recipe book is just do this to all the corners or the creases or whatever and just flip the heart flip this paper case inside out so that you're left with just a white cover, but then you're just left with a plain white recipe book, which with the Dymo printer, you can always do a little black label and have it all kind of matching. On with the organizing and unmute of the music.
first of all, I will just give you an overview of what my kitchen now looks like. As you can see, the majority of the worktop space has been cleared, which just allows for more room for cleaning and cooking and, well, easier cleaning and more cooking. And then let's start with, first of all, the bin. This is a new bin. I got it from Asda at only £20, so it's a mega bargain. These chairs we already had, I don't know where Tom got these, but Ideally, I'd change them out to something else. They're not the best, but they're fine for now. So I've just left them there for the meantime. And then on this wall here, by the garden door area, we have this print here, which is from Decenio. I will leave a link to it below if it's still available online. And then on this section, I have added this letterboard, which this is the larger one. So of the two, Primark have a, an A4 size and an A3 size, which is that one. So the A3 size is priced at eight pounds and the A4 you can get at six pounds. And they also have it with this part being black and then a copper lining. And the letters that come with it, you can get gold letters, but there also are black letters included within this. So I guess you can change it around. I've just added a little quote there. My 2018 goal was to lose 10 pounds, only 15 to go, which is very true. I just found that quote on Pinterest and there's loads available. And then panning down to this little section here, we have this, which I already had in another room. I think that was from Primark as well. And then this faux eucalyptus was from Poundland. This I've also had a while. I got it from my parents. They weren't using it anymore. They got it, I think, with um, when they bought a crate of wine, it was just given to them in this, and I really liked it, so I thought I would recycle it and use it as a spice box, of which I've now changed things up a bit, and all my spices are in the cupboard, which you'll see in a moment. So for now, I'm using it as kind of like a wooden bamboo storagey kind of situation, whereby we've got a Hessian bag here. This is filled with excess teas and coffees and hot chocolate sachets. This is like, this is actually from um, B&M Bargains, but these are all a mismatch of wooden utensils, wooden spoons, rolling pins, everything like that from a variety of different places. And then we have this glass bottle, which I kind of like just for the look, with a cork lid, and that was thrifted. And then the majority of these are all chopping boards, and then this is a universal knife block which just allows you to put all your knives in there and it is from Asda that was only £12 and then we just have a teapot here which is from TK Maxx and then our kettle which matches our toaster but we'll get to that in a second so moving on to this unit you may have seen from the before that this is just our dishwasher and then up here we have now what used to be the crockery is now more kind of like the coffee section. So we've got two layers of mugs and travel flasks and everything like that. And then up here we have my, again, you can find in the hall where all these things were from, but we have tea, coffee, creamer, which is like a coffee mate. If ever you have that, I love it. I always have that with my coffees. And sugar, we've got some travel flasks in the back, some syrups, which are all from TK Maxx, some Horlicks, and then glassware is all up at the top. And then moving down to the sink area, for now we just have this utensil holder, which is from Aldi, and I've just got some washing up liquid and a couple of sponges in there. But I think I might even change this out to like look even prettier and have some really nice like hand soap, maybe even keep this under the sink. And then we have the under the sink drawer. First of all, on the door, I've just added these hooks, which are the command hooks. And I got these from Wilco's, just to add some um, microfiber cloths. We've got our spare carrier bags, kitchen roll, and dustpan and brush from Ikea. A couple of cookery books, my Zaflora spray, which again, I've labeled up with my Dymo printer, which I just keep under here as well. And then some other general cleaning equipment. And then on this area, the windowsill area, I have just added this faux cactus plant terrarium, which was from Primark. We have this, which you can get from, well, we got ours from HomeSense, and it's just a pestle and mortar in marble. And then over here, we have our little salt and peppers, which again, I've labeled up. This section for now is just with some faux fern, which is from Poundland. And then this Fika print, which is from Decenio. And then this is just cooling wrap for whenever we need it, it's there. We have obviously oven. And then these are from Home Bargains and Home Sense. And then for now, moving around, we have microwave toaster, but back to this area. 
We have this cupboard is actually our washing machine. And this one is our very empty looking fridge. And then up here we have the first cupboard. And then I'll, I'll show you this one as well at the same time so you can see. We have now all our crockery here and then some more crockery some pots and pans and graters, things like that, and some more plastic ones and Tupperware that we can use for like storage. And then up here we have like tins and a couple of other bits. Up here we have our new spice rack, which goes all the way back. Like the, these are all full of different spices. Spreads, and then these are just things that need like a class. So we've got some light brown sugar and some cinnamon tortilla roll things from Asda. These I'm yet to fill yet, so I may get like some dried pasta or something or rice and just have that for them. Now this one I'm tempted to maybe either make my own granola, we'll see, if not shop buy some and put it in there. And then this I just have like a vase filled with some cereal bars. And then moving over to this one, da da da. My Zaflora collection. <laughs> These I finally found in Sainsbury's, so I stocked up with two of each, and then I also have a couple of other winter ones, linen, country garden, and lemon zing. And then moving down to these drawers, this is something I still am yet to figure out because they're so narrow. These are our cutlery drawers, but I'm yet to find dividers that fit this size drawer. So for now, I just have spoons, knives, forks, small spoons but I do want something to divide those at some point and then on this drawer we just have kind of like other utensils and measuring cups and bottle openers scissors all that kind of stuff and then moving down to this cabinet we have a couple of these which are just they allow you to have like it's kind of like a tray but with a lap support a toasting machine and then all of our kitchen foil grease proof paper and cling film and then this one has Pots and pans that don't fit, that we don't use on a regular basis, that kind of thing, and uh, baking trays as well. And then we just have the Nutribullet blender, and that's another flask for the Nutribullet. And that, guys, is everything. So I hope you enjoyed this little kitchen tour. Let me know any other suggestions you may have of things that I may like, whether it be storage solutions, if you see different homeware bits like this. I kind of want to get some kind of a bowl to have out to put fresh lemons in. So I'm still on the hunt to add as always and I always update you guys with my shopping escapades over on my weekly vlogs and also on my stories on my new Instagram account Freya Frankton Home so be sure to head over there and give me a follow if you like homeware and interiors. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!